Hello, welcome to Axon Works. In this small video, we're going to show you the new Apaxi Neo and how it works and how it's better and more improved than previous versions. The Neo is shipped as you see it right here. It comes with one plug. This is the wire harness. You wire this into the ECU. This is the clip. This clip makes um, removal of the Neo unit itself easy. It comes with the faceplate and connectors. Since it's um, made in Japan, it comes directly with some nice Japanese installation directions. But since um, this is America, they're useless. But if you look on our site, we do have um, actual directions for installation in English. Next, we have the wiring pretty simple. I'll explain it to you. First you got the red and the red white. These two wires are the um, ignition power. It's a 12 volt source. And these go into your ignition on the ECU. Next up you have the green wire. It's the dark green wire. The dark green wire itself is the RPM signal. This is what displays how fast the, um, the engine is moving in RPMs on the screen. Next you have the gray wire. The gray wire is your th throttle sensor. Your TPS or depending on which model you actually have, you know, the name of it varies. But this gets spliced into the line. Alright, and then after that you have the black and the brown wires. Brown right here and the black wire these two wires right here they're the grounds so these are the negative grounds they get spliced into the, the ECU wiring itself All right. after that you have the yellow the yellow wire itself is the airflow output okay this is the the output one the airflow it's the MAP or MAF sensor, whatever it's called in your car. This is the output one. This one goes to the ECU. Then after that, you have the white. The white is the, the MAP or the MAF input. This one goes from the sensor into the harness or into the, um, the unit. All right. Then after that, you have the orange. The orange is just the simple, the dimmer, you know, you can plug it into 12 volt constant if you just want the power, but if you want it to um, dim with your lights, you know, you plug it into your illumination, usually found on your head unit. Then you have the blue, the blue, the blue wire. The blue wire is kind of only if you have a Nissan, because on the Nissans they have two, two MAF sensor wires that you need to use, and um, what you do is you just plug the, um, the yellow and the the yellow and the blue ones from the from the MAF sensor and then you gotta split off the white the white wire into the ECU and that all, all that stuff comes with the kit so and then for um, VTEC cars I guess Honda's you got light green wire light green wire is your VTM signal alright and then you got the purple and pink wires these are the um, right here purple and pink these are your VTEC input and output. So, pretty self, self-explaining from there, you know. And of course, you get all these little, little kits with it. They all come with it. it makes um easy to do crimping. Um, we suggest soldering. Soldering wires is always best connections. But if you don't know how to solder or you don't want to learn, you can use the crimpers. Just make sure you um crimp them good. Use the um the plastic covers they give you and electrical tape it up real good. And last but not least, we have the reason why it's better than all the previous models. It's got the next generation monitor. You know, it's more colors, brighter, easier to use, and um just all around better screen and monitoring system. Alright, you got the improved tuning precision. What they mean by that is it gives you um twice as many tuning points as opposed to previous models. Previous models only gave you eight points to um to change around on your um on your RPM. 
This one has 16, so it's twice as many. And they have easy mode for simplified tuning. Makes it even simpler. And it has both combinations of previous models, the SAFC and the VFAC. The SAFC was pretty much for the for the Nissan models, the um, SR20 DET engines, and the VTEC ones were for the Hondas, you know, VTEC motors. But this one, you know, in the previous I talked about the blue wire and the and the yellow wire. Well, that's why it has both. You can use it for both, and you don't need to um, you can switch them around if you want. And of course, it's better casing, better design, and all that. Can um has nitrous and turbo turbo options, which is um none of the other models had that before. So, you know, with that said, that's pretty much it. The Paxi Neo.